before I go into the patient's room, I'm just checking the doctor's order up against the MAR. LASIK, 40 milligrams. Everything uh, matches up with the doctor's order and the MAR. Hi, hello, my name is Shelby and I'm going to be your uh, student nurse today and I'm going to be giving you your medication. And just before we get started, I'm just going to uh, pull the curtain for your privacy. There we go. Okay, and can you tell me your uh, name and your date of birth for me? Perfect, thank you. And do you have any allergies, drug or non-drug allergies that I need to be aware of? None? Perfect. Okay, and before we get started, I'm just going to perform hand hygiene. Okay, and we're going to start with your oral medication, so I'm just going to raise you up. Okay, perfect. And before we get started with all, any of your medications, um, are there any that you do not want to take today? No, you want to take them all? Perfect. Okay. And before we get started with your oral medication, I just need you to take a sip of water for me. Thank you. Um, I was just checking the patient's swallow reflex, and the patient can swallow, so I can begin to give the oral medication. Okay, Miss Amy. We have you down for LASIK, 40 milligrams. We have you down for Prinavil, 5 milligrams. Lopressor, 25 milligrams. And Procardia XL, 60 milligrams. I just checked all the medications against the MAR and we're good. And um, before I give you your... Prinavil. I just want you to know that it is a blood pressure uh, medication, so it's going to lower your blood pressure, so you need to be careful when you get up. Just rise slowly. And um, before I give it to you, I need to check your vitals to make sure your blood pressure is not normal or it's already too low. I check the patient's blood pressure, and the blood pressure is high, so I can administer the medication. Okay, would you like to take your pills all at once or separate? All at once, perfect. Okay, so here is your LASIK. Here is your Prenoval. Here is your Lopriserol. And here is your Procardia. Here, um, here you go, and here's some water. Thank you. Okay, and if the patient had liquid medication, I would use a measuring uh, cup and get down at eye level to measure and measure from the meniscus. Okay, Miss Amy, next we have your inhaler, your albuterol inhaler. Buter inhaler, two puffs three times a day. Okay. Here is the canister. I'm going to put it in and I'm just going to shake it up five to six times. Okay. Um, with this medication, I'm going to press it down and I need you to inhale deeply and slowly for three to five seconds for me and then hold your breath for ten. Okay. Inhale. Good. Now hold your breath for 10 seconds. It's been 10 seconds. Uh, inhale again, deeply and slowly. And now hold your breath. Thank you. It's been 10 seconds. So now you can uh, hear some water. And you can just rinse your mouth out. Thank you. Okay, next we have your... We have your Flonase nasal spray. Okay, we have one spray 
each nostril two times a day. Okay, before we get started, can you blow your nose for me? Thank you. And can you tilt your head back a little for me? Thank you. Okay, with this um, medication, can you close one of your nostrils for me? You can't, no, that's no problem, and just in each nostril, okay. I'm gonna close your, um, your right nostril, and I'm gonna spray, and uh, while I'm doing that, if you could inhale for me. Okay, inhale, thank you. And now we're gonna do the other side. Inhale for me, thank you. And I was careful not to tr touch the sprayer to the inside of the nose. Okay, next we have your Ofloxin 0.3% Ophthalmic, two drops in both eyes, four times a day. So I have your of Ofloxin, 0.3 ophthalmic. Okay, perfect. Okay, you have two drops in both eyes. Okay. So before uh, I begin, let me just look at your eyes. They are clean. If the patient eyes were not clean, I would wipe from inner to outer canvas just to clean them. Okay, if you could uh, lean your head back for me and look up and I'm going to pull down your lower eyelid and I'm going to put the drops in there or I'm going to place them in the con conjunctival sac. Okay, and I would place, for the purposes of the video, I would take the top off and place it on the side, but for the video I can't do that. Okay, if you could look up for me and I'm going to place them in your lower eyelid and how many drops? Two drops, just making sure before. Okay, one, two. And now if you could close your eyes for me. Perfect. Okay, and now I'm going to do the other side. Okay. One, two. Okay, now just close your eyes. Now if this uh, medication had syringic uh, effects, I would uh, place my fingers on the patient's nose, uh, on the edges of his nose, just so I can close the lacrimal ducts. Okay, thank you, Miss Amy. Okay, and next we have your um, Ofloxin 0.3 Octic, two drops in your right ear. So two drops. So I'm gonna lay you down now. <laughs> there we go. Okay, thank you. And now I'm going to get you to um, lay out on your left side for me so I can put the eardrops in your right ear. Thank you. Okay. And now we have Ofloxin 0.3 Octic Drops. I'm warming up the medication just so it's not cold when it goes into your ear and it shocks you. Okay. And we have Ofloxin 0.3 Octic two drops in the right ear. So, um, warmed up your medication and with your cartilage, oh, let me expect your ear. Ear is clean. If it wasn't clean, I would uh, clean the patient's ear. So I'm going to take the cartilage and I'm going to pull it up and back to straighten the ear canal. And I'm going to, um, again, for the purpose of the video, I can't take the top off it. I would and set it on the side. I'm going to administer the two drops, one, two, and I'm just going to massage your ear for you, Miss Amy, and I'm massaging the patient's tragus. So nice, very good. Thank you. And now if you could lay on your side for three to five minutes, that would be great for me. And also the cartilage is called the pinna, and if it was a child, I would have pulled the pinna um, down and back. Okay, thank you, Miss Amy. And it's been three to five minutes, so I'm going to get you to roll back for me. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to raise you up for a second. <laughs> okay, next we have your um, Duracic patch, 25 micrograms per hour, topical every, every 72 hours. Before I give you this, I'm going to put on gloves, just so your medication doesn't get on me. Okay. 
And now I'm going to look to see if you have any patches on you. Okay, you do. You have one on your uh, left hand side. So I'm going to pull that off, throw it away, and I'm going to wipe it off. Okay, there you go, Miss Amy. Okay, and for the purposes of the video, we're not allowed to open them. But if I was giving this to a patient, I would open it, date, time, put my initials, comma, SN, and pull off the back and apply it on the non-hairy portion of the chest. Okay, Miss Amy, since you had a patch on the left-hand side, I'm going to put it on your right-hand side for you. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Okay, Miss Amy. Um, that concludes all of our uh, medications that I need to give you today. I'm going to take my gloves off. And is there anything else I can do for you? Okay, let me perform hand hygiene. And before I leave, I'm going to lower your bed just for safety. Okay, it is, <laughs> it's lowered. And I, um, here's a call light. If you need anything, just call and let me know. And I will see you when um, I have to give you your next set of uh, medications. Thank you. Okay, with now... Because um, I did administer all the medications, I'm going to put my initials by the time that I gave them at 9 a.m. and uh, sign my name and put my initials at the bottom.